I am so excited to spend the day in this beautiful city of Newport Beach, California. As the setting and backdrop of two of my all-time favorite shows, Arrested Development and The O.C., I blasted the O.C. theme song as I drove down to Orange County today. California, here we come. Right back where we started. I can probably work on my singing skills, but regardless, I'm at Corona Del Mar State Beach right now overlooking this little lagoon next to me. I can already tell this city is so beautiful and I have so much sentimental value for it. I'm excited to go explore Newport Beach today, right back where we started from. Okay, so just walking here, I feel like Newport Beach is the stereotypical version of Southern California. It feels like everyone just lives at the beach. You got fire pits, you have volleyball courts, and beautiful views. Jesus. I need to find some volleyball partners because I'm not much of an athlete, but I am inspired by those people because they're just living their best life. And that's what I want, to play volleyball on Newport Beach. That's the life. All right, I'm excited to go to one of the main attractions today, Balboa Island, because I'm craving a frozen banana and I hear the Bluth family has a really great stand there. Apparently Newport Beach is known for frozen bananas and I've never really heard of it until this show. And I'm not sure the Bluth frozen banana stand actually exists, but I'm sure there's a bunch of other ones there. Let's go try some frozen bananas in Balboa Island. <laughs> Hi, can I get a frozen banana? I will do chocolate sprinkles and peanuts. Thank you. All right, just got a frozen banana with chocolate sprinkles and peanuts. Let's try it. Good. It tastes like banana ice cream. Cool. I like that. It's literally a frozen banana. I'm into it. And so are all of these birds. I'm legit being attacked by birds. So I'm gonna move and walk and eat. So that place is called Sugar and Spice. I went there because it says it's the original one, not the Blue Family one. But there's also one right next door called Dad's. I would love to try it, but I probably don't want two right now. Now I can say I've had a frozen banana in Balboa Island, Newport Beach. It was pretty expensive. It cost over $5 for essentially a banana. But in the words of Lucille Bluth, I mean, it's one banana, Michael. What could it cost? $10? I'm now going to take the Balboa Island Ferry over to the peninsula. You can get there by car, but it is suggested to take the ferry over. It only costs about a dollar by foot. So let's go check it out. fun little ferry ride. And now I'm in this beautiful place called the Balboa Peninsula. New York style pizza. That's us. I'm not gonna try it. All right, just rented a bike from Newport Beach Bike Rentals. A little expensive at $15, but I have this bike until six o'clock. I have the GoPro attached to me. Um, first time ever using it, so let's see how it is. I don't know if vlogging and biking is the best idea, but I'll give it a shot. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I need to know who lives in these beautiful homes along here, because these aren't just beach houses, these are like Nice beach houses. How do I afford one of these? Oh my god. All 
territory as I was riding along Balboa Peninsula. I ended up at the Newport Beach Pier, which is really awesome. There's a lot of bars and restaurants and shops all along here. I'm gonna go check it out. Loved the Newport Beach Pier. I'm gonna head back to where I started from to return my bike and then head on to my next location, the Wedge. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm a little hungry and I couldn't help but try what they claim is New York pizza. It's actually not that bad. It's just a little too doughy. And it's huge. You don't get pizzas like this in New York. Nothing against the business because it's not bad pizza, but California in general, you can have everything, but you can't have the pizza. drop my bike off by six and also grab a bite to eat but I wanted to come to one of Newport's landmarks the wedge to catch the sunset the wedge is a famous surfing spot known for killer waves literally I think the surf is pretty low right now at like one to two feet but either way cool to be here okay approaching the wedge right now and as you can see there's really no big waves, the tide's pretty low, but this place can be crazy. The waves can reach up to 30 feet. That's wild. Beautiful sunset tonight. I gotta get the drone up. Oh yeah, I live for this. Again, so nice. Not me tripping and falling. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I just realized also, if you did watch The O.C., uh, Marissa Cooper, played by Misha Barton, would always come to sit on a lifeguard stand at night to cry because the show was very melodramatic. If I did have to cry though, this would be a good spot. Now I know why the writers did that. Crying on a lifeguard stand in Newport Beach, I mean, to be sad and privileged. And since being sad or sentimental on a lifeguard stand is apparently an aesthetic here in Newport Beach or on the OC, I just remembered something. And I'm going to make one last stop tonight. So I just drove over to Fashion Island, which is an awesome outdoor mall here in Newport. If you're here, you gotta stop by. But the reason I actually came down here is because in the summer of 2010, I was actually in Newport with my dad and I took a photo here posted it as my profile picture on Facebook and captioning it, this will be my life in 10 years. Now, I was in a Mustang convertible, I do not have one of those, gotta stay humble. But how cool is it that 10 and a half years later, I am living in California, I got a car. Just a reminder that you can do whatever the hell you wanna do in life. Now, to be extra cheesy, I'm gonna quickly recreate that photo in my Toyota Corolla.